To determine the derivative of the given function, we need to recognize this as a quotient of two differentiable functions, so we'll have to apply the quotient rule to determine this derivative. And the quotient rule is listed down here in red for reference. So the function in the numerator will be f, and the function in the denominator will be g. So to determine f prime of x, let's start with the denominator. Notice how the denominator is just g squared, or the denominator squared. So we'll have the quantity 1 plus cosine x squared. Now our numerator is going to be g times f prime minus f times g prime. So for g times f prime, we'll have the denominator, 1 plus cosine x, times the derivative of the numerator, the derivative of sine x is cosine x, minus f times g prime, or the numerator, times the derivative of the denominator, well, the derivative of 1 is 0, the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. Now that we've applied the quotient rule, we have our derivative, but now we have to simplify this as much as possible. So we'll leave the denominator the same. Here we'll distribute cosine x, so we'll have cosine x plus cosine squared x. Here we have minus sine x times negative sine x, or minus negative sine squared x, which becomes plus sine squared x. Now we should recognize that cosine squared x plus sine squared x is equal to 1. So we have f prime of x is equal to, instead of writing cosine x plus 1, I'm going to write 1 plus cosine x. All over the quantity 1 plus cosine x squared, which we could rewrite as 1 plus cosine x times 1 plus cosine x. So we can see there's a common factor of 1 plus cosine x between the numerator and denominator, which simplifies to 1. So our derivative function is 1 all over 1 plus cosine x. And this cannot be simplified any further. We cannot write this as a sum of two fractions because we don't have a monomial in the denominator. So be careful, this is not equal to 1 plus 1 over cosine x. This is our derivative in simplest form. I hope you found this example helpful.